Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Games Week 18, I think. I'm losing count, you know, I'm not even into this week thing anymore. We're just going to jump right into it, because uh, it's starting to get a little blurry. All right, no, so let's um, let's go ahead and jump into this video because we do have a longer trailer, uh, so this will be a little bit of a longer uh, stretch today. So got some good information and uh, a lot to put out. So let's first jump into PlayStation's uh, release. So this week we chose Fade to Silence. Uh, so here's the trailer. Enjoy. The truth about survival We try to save our families Fight back the madness Hold back the corruption. But we can't. It's too late. It's all gone. Destroyed. The only thing left to give? Your life. <gasps> Alright guys, so that was Fade to Silence. Um, it looks like it's pretty interesting, but to be honest with you, I have way too much on my plate when it comes to new games these days, so it's something that I'm going to pass on personally. Uh, I just got Mortal Kombat 11 and picked up Days Gone, and I just don't I don't have all the time right now to, to dive into a new title. Um, there are several coming that I will definitely be getting involved with, but Fade to Silence is not going to be one of them. However, if this is the title that you were looking for, it does look good, uh, so definitely go out and grab that. Uh, it is digital, so you can just get it on the PlayStation Store this week. Alright, so let's jump into PlayStation's news. So PlayStation's Golden Week sale, uh, that ends May 7th at 8pm, uh, but it includes Kingdom Hearts 3, Resident Evil 2, and over 100 other titles are available across PlayStation 4, PS3, PlayStation Vita, and PSP. Yes, PSP. I didn't even know people still had those. Anyway, um, okay, so the next piece is kind of big, and I hid this here for a reason. Uh, if you're not subscribing and not looking at our videos, then you'll never know this information. Uh, so definitely think about that later on because uh, this will be definitely in the description of the video all right so uh, PS5 known games uh, there was a list that was released obviously we know some of the big ones that will do uh, the move to PS5 will be the Assassin's Creed series the Maddens uh, will also have probably your Far Cries and stuff like that uh, so these are some titles that have been confirmed however weren't known to be making the jump initially. So, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, Death Stranding, Dragon Age 4, Lord of the Rings, Gollum, Starfield, and The Elder Scrolls 6 have all been confirmed to be releases for the PS5. So, again, as we get PS5 information, we will feed it to you right here. Alright, so, uh, moving on to Xbox. Let's dive in here with their trailer for Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Check it out. What would you do different? 
I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Stop running! You have something that belongs to me. Fall this way! Damn! Fran, let's move! <laughs> Off with you! This is the Strong. She airship in our for you. The Strong? You really are a sky pirate. You seek the Yocte Four. Deep within the jungle of Golmore, there is a corner of the Feywood where a mist storm surges and seethes. Well, what are we waiting for? Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. But you must consider the prize. The Dawn Shard lies within. And Wraithwall's treasure. Insurgents and Ravanasta operate alone at present. However, should they garner external support, the situation could worsen. Her Majesty cannot abide weakness, least of all in herself. Now's not the time. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Tell me. Do you still desire the stone? I'm against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... We should leave this place. Let me guess. Sandstorm? Something far worse. You took my father's life. Why spare mine now? You would have me live in shame! If that is your duty, yes. I must treat you as I would Ondor. As I would treat any a better of the Empire. You failed Landis. You failed Damasca. All you were to protect. Yet you still hold on to your honor. How? I won my freedom. Yet my past has been cut away forever. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. The wrestler I knew is gone. its power to restore Dalmasca? Something like that? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her. Faith in you both. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. That which you must grasp is something beyond revenge. Something greater than despair. History begins anew. And so how Solidor lives on. Okay, that was Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, releasing for Xbox as well as Switch. So, um, Final Fantasy is a great series uh, to dive into. That's been ran through Square Enix forever, uh, and they've done some great RPG work. So, if you're if you're on Xbox, 
uh, and you haven't played Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, I encourage you to do so. Um, so, let's dive into Xbox's news. So, Madden NFL 20 uh, is spouting five new features. Now, I'm going to put in the disclaimer here that I don't think they're entirely new. Uh, and you'll, you'll see why as we jump into them. So, uh, college play. Uh, you'll be able to pick your college uh, from a bunch of, of uh, uh, level one schools and you can play through some college games. You can play the national championship uh, with the NCAA. Uh, that affects your draft stock. So um, it's saying that you're only going to play a couple of games, but again, it does affect your draft stock. So that could help. You'll have a combine experience um, as part of the game and an NFL draft experience. Now, here's why I don't think these are all brand new. Um, I've played Mad 19 and there was a draft experience within the career mode. It was just not something that you took place in. So maybe uh, this, this time around, it's an actual experience and maybe that's what they're touting here. However, details were kind of vague, so we'll see. Um, and then Legacy is improved. Again, I don't think that's a new feature. Uh, Legacy's been there if you play so many seasons and leave your Legacy behind. Um, so I'm not so sure these are entirely new features as much as improvements. Um, however, if you're, big, if you're a big Madden fan, um, I, I'm not an every year guy. I'll pick this up, you know, every every couple of years because you can play Madden forever. And there's so many other games I play throughout the year. I just don't grab it every year it comes out. Um, so anyway, that's that's that on Madden 20. Uh, sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves, if I could speak. Uh, the anniversary update is uh, April 30th. And it's called Shores of Gold. It has nine tall tales, uh, additional adventures that you can go on, some more plundering loot, and uh, a whole new um, uh, end, end state where you run up on the Shore of Gold, which is this area that uh, has a ton of treasure. So uh, there's that. It is a free update and it will be live on April 30th. So if you're playing that and are looking forward to the update to launch, you only have two more days. So uh, definitely check that out, get it, and uh, enjoy it. All right, so let's move into Nintendo. Nintendo is releasing the Darkest Dungeon Collector's Edition. Uh, it seems to me by the trailer, and I, I haven't played it, so uh, maybe you can tell me in the comments below, but seems to me in the trailer that uh, Darkest Dungeon came out around 2015, 2016 originally. And this is a collector's edition that is uh, releasing now for the Switch. So uh, the other thing I noticed is that uh, GameStop is touting that it is coming out this week. However, there was no release date. So uh, it was either that or show you the Final Fantasy trailer all over again. So I really hope um, this does release for those that are interested in it. However, if you don't see it in stores this week and you want to let me know when it is coming out, by all means, drop that in the comments below. But uh, here you go. Here's the trailer. Check it out. There is a great horror beneath the manor. Crawling chaos that must be destroyed. The task ahead is terrible. And weakness cannot be tolerated. My obsession caused this great foulness. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. The darkest dungeon. Are 
Alright guys, so that was Darkest Dungeon. Um, again, uh, it's a re-release. Uh, if you're interested in getting it, it's supposed to be coming out this week. Again, if it does not, or you know better than I and GameStop's website do, as far as when it's supposed to come out, by all means, put it in the comments. And let me know so I can update anybody else that may be watching that may be interested in it. Um, but let's get into Nintendo's news. So, uh, Nintendo released the Switch 8.0 update, uh, and that was linked with higher CPU speeds for loading time. Um, this was noted by a user playing Zelda and also another user who happened to be playing Mario Odyssey. So it was stated that during loading screens, they were noticing that it was jumping from 1 gigahertz to 1.7 gigahertz uh, in order to handle the loading screen and then it would kind of dial back down to the 1 gigahertz mark. So, uh, the thought there is that Nintendo, uh, in the update process, had activated a additional speed boost within the CPU, and you're noticing it in those large games. So, uh, good on Nintendo. Only wish that maybe they could keep it that way um, throughout, but maybe it doesn't affect their games as much so it's not that big of a deal. Um, Retro Studios is currently hiring for Metroid Prime 4. You can find all their positions at their website. Uh, I don't know about you, but I grew up with some of the Metroid Prime games along the way, uh, and I, I love them, I think they're great, so this would be a great addition. But if you're looking for jumping into a gaming career and Metroid Prime 4, be a great one to start on uh, head over to retro studios website and check out those job postings okay um that's it guys so for this week a little bit longer due to a longer trailer but uh keep in mind we are doing our review of mortal kombat 11 that will be released on the 30th which is only two days from now so you will get that uh from us for the end of the month and also uh, as always, hit that subscribe and like button, comment below if you have anything for us, and enjoy the upcoming weeks, guys. We, uh, we're moving into May, which means E3 is right around the corner, which means our May feature is going to be uh, what we know about E3 leading up to the, the two to three weeks before E3 goes live. So... Keep that in mind, and uh, we hope to see you here again. Like, share, comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.